welcome to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see on my channel and become part of this beautiful Getting Big family, of course. I want to thank every single one of you for your support, your loving words, and your encouragement, your requests, suggestions. Thank you so much. I also would like to mention I do have a private crochet group. If you're interested to come and be with our beautiful queens there, you're more than welcome as long as you have a profile. Um, also be aware, a lot of the groups have a lot of scammers on there trying to sell you patterns uh, which are not true. It's fake and they have a lot of bit and cut links on it. Be careful of that. Um, I also have a crochet page. You can follow me. It's all under the same name, Crochet Art Tutorials by Maggie Lopez. Also have Instagram and TikTok. You could always follow me through there if you're stuck in one of the projects. It's much easier to get a hold of me through there through the messaging than just uh, the back and forth on YouTube. I want to thank everybody that has been supporting the women in need of thread. Thank you so much. And if you're considering, I hope you do, any little amount counts and it adds up at the end. There is a little bag right below the video that says thanks. You can donate through there. That's through YouTube. They take 30% off of whatever you're donating. Or you can send it to my PayPal account. It's below in the description box. Or if you have tons or not even tons, but you have some thread and you'd like to give it away, you can always get a hold of me. There's my email or through the messaging, like I mentioned, I can give you their address and you can send it to them yourselves. Thank you so much, everybody. So a lot of you have asked me about my threads. My threads are 100% cotton threads. These are Portugal threads. I am in Europe, Portugal, in the island of Madeira. And my threads go by number, not by name. So like in this orangey uh, color, this is number 17. On the purple, 38. And on the yellow, canary yellow, 16. So they go by numbers. They're $12 a ball. That's like 300, 325 yards, okay? Usually I use a 2.5 hook three or 3.5 they're similar to aunt lydia number three in size but aunt lydia number three is a little bit bigger so your patterns automatically become bigger i also want to mention if your tension is too tight use a hook or two bigger than your normal size so your tension can loosen up and if it's too loose then go a hook or two size smaller so your tension can tighten up it will look prettier Okay, so let's get started. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you haven't. All of these things are for free and it helps us creators tremendously, not just for myself, but I speak for many others that are, also need your help through this. Um, please, uh, I ask of you when you are not happy about certain patterns or you don't get it, we don't always get all the patterns we see, including myself when I'm creating them. I don't always get what I'm creating. Don't be frustrated and don't take it out on the creator. Some, not all, of course, a couple, a few have left me already several uh, nasty comments. Um, it doesn't fit you. Just move on to the next video or the next person. Uh, a few I had to block out of my channel completely and a few I've left on there to give them a second chance. Please be kind to others and to yourselves, of course. Uh, we didn't come into this world knowing every little code or detail about anything as far as crochet or anything else in life. We learn as we go and you're part of that learning process. So don't beat up on creators and don't beat up on yourselves. Just go with the flow. If it does for you well, then good. And if it doesn't, then move on. Um, it's not meant to be for everybody. A certain pattern, sometimes it could be easy, very easy for somebody, and it could be very difficult for somebody else. Don't be hard on yourself. And please be kind with your words, not just for myself, but for many others. Because I could imagine if you could leave that sort of comment for me, I could imagine how many comments you have left already for somebody else too. Just be nice, please. 
okay? It costs nothing, and kindness goes a long way. We're just human and passing through this world. Nothing belongs to us. We're not here forever, and, you know, we don't want to have bad karmas as we're here going through this journey. So I send you much love, healing, and blessings, okay? Okay, everyone, so we're going to create another um, sort of like square, triangle, if you want to call it, pineapple uh, runner. It is not my creation. This is a picture that I got from one of my um, family members. So I'm going to try to create it by the picture. I have to keep going back and forth into my phone and look at the picture and pause and come back to the recording. So it's a little bit of work on that, but I think you guys will enjoy it. I don't know who the creator is. Um, so we'll leave it at that. Um, once I do know if it comes up ever, then I will uh, give the credit to the designer creator of this pattern that we're going to create. I'll put it into the description box. I'm going to use the white because I think it's much easier for you guys to see the stitch. So um, since I have so much white, then we'll take it from there. 2.75 hook. You can use whatever thread you'd like. These are 100% cotton thread. Uh, these are Portugal threads. Uh, similar to Aunt Lydia number three, Aunt Lydia number three is a little bit thicker. Now, when I say similar, I'm talking about like thickness, not the quality of the thread itself. Okay. A pair of scissors stuck in loose ends, of course. And uh, please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. I can't stress enough to tell you guys that. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps the channel. It helps us creators to keep going and bring out these patterns for you guys. It's literally impossible for us not to get recognized by YouTube thanks to you guys and continue on these tutorials. Literally impossible. So please make an effort, uh, not just for myself, but other people that you enjoy their channel. Don't just look at it. Give it thumbs up. Do your comment. Share Help that person out. It's extremely important. We're all here working very hard, dedicating ourselves many, many long hours, weekends, weekdays, weeknights, just to advance these patterns for you guys. Okay? Thank you so much. So I'm going to start off with a slip stitch knot. As you know, it never counts for anything. And I'm going to do one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain. I'm going to close it on the first one with slip stitch. Then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to create my single and my two chain. This is my first double crochet. I'm going to create three groups of three double crochet. If the video is too fast for you, you can always go into the description box below the video. There's a little arrow right below the video on the right side. Click that little arrow that's pointing like a V down and it opens below the video. All the links are there to whatever you need and the how much thread I've used and uh, the measurements of the uh, doily or table runner, or whatever the case may be. Also, turn on your closed caption. I don't write patterns. Turn your closed caption on. You can pause the video, take notes, and go from there. Chain two. Coming back in, and I'm going to create two more groups of three double crochet. This is row one. So I've done my three groups of three double crochet, two chain space. Now you should know by now the rule of crochet. If your tension is too tight, go a hook or two smaller. If it's too big, um, not smaller, sorry, bigger. If it's too big, go a hook or two smaller. The other way around. If it's too big, go smaller. If it's too tight, go bigger. Okay. If you're using Aunt Lydia number three, your patterns will be bigger than mine. I'm going to do one, two, and three. Coming into this first space of the two chain, we're going to build shelves of three 
double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So that's my first shell on this end. And whatever we're doing on this end, we'll be doing on the next two chain space coming into the next one and create your shell. Remember, remembering what I said, whatever you're doing on the right side, you have to do it on the left side. And if the video is on the left, because I do left hand videos, so whatever you're doing on whatever you call your right side, which is your left, then you must do the same thing on the right. Okay. I keep forgetting to mention on the video that I always normal normally I always upload left-handed too. I'm not a lefty. I don't crochet left. It's a nap that I have that switches. Okay, so one, two, and three again. Turn around and come and do your shell. Now I'm not going to keep repeating or showing. Uh, each time we have to keep doing shells because it's, you know, three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet, or else it takes too much memory on the mobile. So I've done my shell. One, two, three. So we're basically starting already the first loops for the first pineapple. One, two, three. And do your shell. And you're gonna, we're always going to repeat that, the shells on both sides and three chain to go in. So I've done my shell. I've done my three chains. We're turning around, coming right back in. And doing the shells again. Two chain, three more double crochet. And you know the pineapple loops takes three chain, right? One, two, three, go into the first loop with single. One, two, three, into the second loop. And one, two, three, create your shell. Now, the good thing about this pattern is you can go as long as you'd like. So we have one, two, three, four rows with three loops for the pineapples. Do your chain three, come back in, do your shell, do your three chain single, three chain single, and three chain single, and your shell again. Okay. So I've turned around, did my shell. This is rope five. Coming in, doing my single, my three chains. And doing my shell. Do your three chain to turn around, create your shell again. Okay. <clears throat> so I've done my shell, my three chain single, three chain single, three chain single, three chain single, three chain, three chain and shell. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do one more row. Row seven. On row eight, we'll change. Okay, we have to start decreasing and increasing on the edges to create the next pineapple also. So do your shell. One, two, and three. Do your loops, one, two, and three. So you're supposed to have six loops on this row seven. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, going into row eight. So it's gonna change up now. We're going to do the three chain that's always staying the same. Here we're going to do 
three groups of three double crochet all in the same space because we need to start the uh, beginning of the next pineapple so three groups of three two chain three double crochet two chain and three more all in the same space don't forget we must do the same thing at the other end of the pattern okay so now we have the three groups one two and three one two and three we're going to start to decrease so we're not closing in on this one we're coming directly into the second one one two three one two three one two three and we're not closing in on the last loop either one two and three coming directly so we're not doing here and doing our three groups of three double crochet one two chain space between them two chain and one more group So you have one, two, three, four, five loops on this row eight. Okay. One, two, three, chain, turn around. Done my three chain. I'm coming inside of my first two chain from the groups and create my shell of three double crochet. Two chain, three more, double crochet. Two chain, coming into the next, create your shell. So basically we're starting the foundation here of the second pineapple. Same thing as it would be this one here, okay? And back in to your shell. We are going to skip the first and the last loop on the pineapple here. We're decreasing. So three chains. Skip this first one, come into the second. One, two, three chain. Into the next one. Three chain. One, two, three. We're skipping the last one here and coming in doing our shell. Now do your shell. Then you must do your two chain to create the next shell. Okay. Two chain. And the next shell again. Okay, do your chain three. So we're on to row 10. So I've turned around after finishing row nine. Three chain, did my shell. So like I said, well, this is the foundation of the next pineapple. And then here also, okay, we're gonna be starting to close in that first one. One, two, three, into the center of the two ch chain. It's exactly how we did here. Okay, so we're basically just repeating it. One, two, and three, do your shell. Okay, one, two, three, skipping that first loop and coming into, or decreasing. 
one, two, three, into the next one. One, two, three, and also skipping the last one. So just going to repeat the shell here. Create the same thing as we did here. And then three chain going up. Create your shell on the other side. I'll meet you on the other side once you finished. So this is row 11. I did my chain after completing row 10. Three chains. Did my shell. Three chains. In single. Three chains. Single. Three chains. And shell. So it's exactly the same thing as here. So we're just repeating it. One, two, and three. Skip the first one and come into the middle one. One, two, and three. Skip the last one and do your shell. Repeat the same thing as we did on the other side, as we did on here. Shell, and then your three chain loops for the pineapples. One, two, and three. Okay, go ahead, do your shell, three chain go up, do your shell, and I'll meet you there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this stays the same, of course, because we are just building these two pineapples, one on the right, one on the left. Here we're going to create shell. So on this row 12, we have one, two, three, four loops, and we're going to go directly into the next shell. We're closing out this first pineapple. One, two, and three, and continue on. So you're gonna do your, your three uh, chain loops, your shell, three chain, Turn around, do your shell, do your loops, and I'll meet you here on this shell on the other side. Okay, everyone, so row 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've done my three chain, my shell, my three chain loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we'll have the fifth one. Now, where we have the shells here, we're only going to do three double crochets. We are not going to do the shell, okay? And two chain. Coming into the next one, three double crochet only. One, two, and three. Continue your shell, your pineapple loops, okay? And then your shell, three chain go up, turn around, do your shell. And again, your three um, pineapple loops. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I'll meet you at row 14. Okay, you guys, so we're on row 14. Done my three chain, my shell, my three chain loops. We have one, two, three, four, five going into the sixth loop. Now, remember we did only those three um, double crochets, a little piece of red linen, okay. Coming in the center here, and I'm going to do a normal shell of three double crochet, two chain, two, uh, three more double crochet. One, two, and three. Proceed with your loops for the next pineapple. Continue to do it, and I'll meet you there. 
So I've turned around. I've done my shell. This is row 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Row 15, we need to create again those three groups. So I'm doing my two chain again and doing one more uh, group of three double crochet. So row 15, we need those three groups. Now what you need to do is you need to mark row 14. And you'll know later on why we need it. Now, if you don't have a marker, you can use a piece of thread, different color. You can mark both sides on um, row 14. So I'm just going to come right here at the edge and put my marker on. I'll explain why when we get there so it's not too confusing for you at this point. Okay, so now we're going to start to decrease on these pineapples also. Okay, so put your marker on row 14. Row 15, you need to do the three groups of three double crochet, two chain space. One, two, three. I'm going to skip the first loop and coming into the next. One, two, three again one two three so you're supposed to have six loops on on that row 14 as i mentioned two three and we're not doing the last loop so we're skipping it also and coming here um on this on this shell here okay so you'll have one, two, three, four, and five uh, loops on row 15. Okay. So in order to close one pineapple out and the other, we must do the three groups, same thing here. Okay. So we're going to do three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. Again, two chain and three double crochet. So basically row 15, you have to do it at the corner, in the center, and on the last one. One, two, three. Skip your first loop, come into your second. Okay. One, two, three into the next one. One, two, three, into the next one. One, two, three, and into the next one. We're not doing the last loop, we're skipping it. Coming into the corner and doing your three groups of three double crochet two chain space between them. I might have to go to video two for this. I'm not sure if it takes too much memory on my mobile. I don't want to go. I know I have a habit of going fast. I don't want to go too fast so you guys don't miss out on anything. Okay. So do your chain three, do your shell. And I'll meet you here on the other side, row 16. So I've done my shell. We're going to repeat again the same thing as we've done here because we are going to start in the uh, next row of pineapples. So two chain and create your shell. We're going to repeat exactly the same thing in the center and at the other end. Obviously, where we have the three groups, so we're going to repeat it here also in the middle. Shell, two chain shell. We're going to skip, of course, first and last because we're closing out the pattern. And we're going to do the shell, two chain shell. So I will meet you at the end here because it's just a repeat. Just don't forget that you need to skip the first loop. Come into your second and also skip the last one. 
So this is row 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'll meet you at the beginning of row 17. So once you finish doing your shell, right, because you'll have exactly the same thing as we have here at the end and, of course, the middle. Um, do your three chain go up, do your shell, and then I'll meet you there. So I'll start at row 17. So finishing row 16, I did my three chain, did my shell. Don't forget, we are building the next foundation of the next pineapple, three chain. So we'll have three pineapples this time. We started with one, we have two, and we'll have three. One here, one here, and one here. Okay? And that's what's good about this pattern. You can go as wide as you like and as long as you like. Three, chain, create your shell. One, two, three. Skip your first one, come in the second. One, two, three. Into the next one. And skip the last one. One, two, three. Do your shell. And repeat exactly what we did at the beginning of the row. Okay, so we'll do the three chains coming in here. Three chains, do shell. Skip the first one and the last one. Do your shell, three chains. So we're repeating exactly the same thing on here as we did here. And you have one loop left. That means you should have one loop left on that one too. Okay, so I'll meet you at the beginning of row 18. So I've turned around, started row 18. Did my three chain, my shell, one, two, three, continuing my pineapple loops, one, two, three, continuing my shell. One, two, three, skipping the first one and doing my middle one, which is the last one to close in. And directly into the shell, wood shell. And repeat the same thing, three chains, singles, your shell, three chains, skip the first, go into the middle, skip the last, do your shell, do your three chains, and again at the end of your shell, do your three chains, go up, we're going to do the three chains, so we're increasing on the pineapples here, and I'll meet you here on row uh, 19, okay? Okay, so... Row 19, we are reached here, so we're going to close out. I did my shell coming directly into the next one and closing out my shell here also. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so just continuing the same way and then directly from this shell to the next, exactly how we did down here.
going directly. One, two, three. And I've missed one here, so I will have to come back to you. I will have to take it down. I missed this loop here. But anyway, so you know what I'm saying. You will have to um, go into the first and the second and the third. We have three loops, actually four. One, two, three, four loops, okay? So we have to go into the first, into the second, into the third. I will have to take it down. I missed a loop here, and that's something that happens sometimes, right? I'll meet you right back here once I am back here again. Okay, everyone, so I started row 20. So we finished off over here in row 19. Three chain shell. One, two, three, four, and five loops we have here. Of three chain one two create your shell no not your shell sorry here we're going to do exactly how we did um, down here with the three double crochet two chain and into the next one and create your three double crochet And then do one, two, and three. Create your loops. And I'll meet you here on the next one where we have the shells. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I finished my row. Started with shell. Do the three chain loops. We have one, two, three, four, five. Three double crochet, two chain, exactly how we did down here, if you recall. And then do your loops again. Then the same thing here, three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet, did my shell. One, two, three, turn around. So we are one, two, uh, this would have been 14, right? One, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, going to row 21, create your shell, one, two, and three, do your, um, three chain loops and then we're going to create the shell in the center here exactly how we did here okay so I'll meet you there in the center so I have one two three four five and six and I'm creating my shell right in the center between both uh, three double crochets okay so doing my shell and we'll be doing the same thing on this one here also. One, two, and three. And continue on to do your shells. Okay? Your three chains. And in the center, your shell, your three chains your shell and then do your three chains come in and I'll meet you here on the other side okay okay everyone so we're at the beginning of row 22 I did my normal shell we're going to start to decrease every time we get to six little blocks right after that we have to start decreasing so we have one two three four five six also here and here so time to start decreasing on the pineapples <clears throat> so i've done my three chain i'm going to skip the first one and go into the second one two three 
Okay, so do your loops, and I'll meet you here in the center. Remembering to skip the last one. Coming into center here, we need to create three groups of three double crochet. We need to start closing out the patterns, this pineapple, this pineapple. So two chain. Three more double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So now we have three groups of three. We will have to do the same thing on here exactly how we did here. We're going to skip the first double crochet and the last. Do the three groups on this shell. Skip the first double, the first chain and the last and do your normal shell at the end okay so i'll meet you at the end don't forget to skip the first and the last okay everyone going into row 22 so i've done my three chain my normal shell one two three skip the first one go into the second loop one two three one, two, three. One, two, three. Skip the last one and we're doing our shell. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four um, chains three chains, okay? Three, um, three chains of, of, how can I say, four chains of three, um, you know what I'm saying, my God, sometimes the brain. One, two chain, coming in, doing our shell again. So you will have to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, one, two, three, skip the first into the second, one, two, three, chain, and again, single, okay? And then you have to repeat here the same thing, the shells with the two chain, and then skip your first, continue one, do your shell, three chain going up, do your shell again, do your three chains again, and I'll meet you here on the other shell. Okay. So we are in row 24. So I've turned around after doing um, row 23. Did my three chains, my shell, skip the first one. Did my single, my three chains, skip the last one, going to do my shell. Okay. One, two, three chain, and starting my next pineapple. Doing my shell. Repeating the same thing, doing my three chains, skipping the first one, coming into the second, three chain coming into the third, skip the last one. Do my shell, my three chain coming in exactly like here. And then continue again. Skip the first and the last, do your shell, your three chain go up, do your shell, come back in, do your three chains. And again, I'll meet you here on this shell on the other side. Okay? So it's just a repeat now. 
Okay, everyone. So I started row 25, did my three chain, my shell, my three chain, skip the first and the last, my three chain, my shell. Continuing to do my increase on this middle pineapple. my shell one two and three coming into the center One, two, three, continue to do my shell. And my increases, so we're just going to repeat exactly the same thing on here. And we have one, two, three loops. Okay, so I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, everyone, starting row 26, did my three chain, going to do my shell. And going directly into the next shell with shell. One, two, three. Repeat your pineapple loops. and doing shell and then directly in with the next shell then your loops shell with shell okay so I'll meet you there at the end so this is what it looks like so shell shell three chain single one two three four loops of three chain shell with shell the four loops again shell with shell <clears throat> three chain one two three now we're only going to do three double crochets inside of this space here not shell okay and two chain into the next one three double crochets like that and this is row 26 no hold on row 27 one two three and continue to do your loops for the pineapples <clears throat> So now we're going to do two chain coming directly into the next one and doing only three double crochets. Okay, so three, two chain, three, continue to do your loops, three, two chain, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
one, two, three. Do your three double crochet. So this row is only three double crochets on the whole row. And three on the last. <clears throat> okay, so we have three that after we did the three chain, three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet, and your loops, three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet, the loops, three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet, one, two, and three. Come in the center here and do your normal shell of three double crochets, two chain, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and three. Remember we have to have six before we start decreasing three chain and continue on. So we're going to repeat exactly the same thing we did here. Here, the shell in the center, your loops for the pineapple and your shell here at the center also. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay guys, so I finished row 28. Did my shell, my chains, my shell, my chains, my shell. Going into 29. Now, row 29, as you can see, we're almost closing out the two pineapples. That's exactly the same thing as these ones here. Now, to go into the three pineapples again, and this is where you keep repeating the length you want. So that's why we had put a marker here. Because on row 15, which is this row now we're going to do, we're going to do those three groups of three double crochet. So basically we're going to repeat what we've done on there to get those three pineapple foundations back up again. Because we're almost closing these two. Correct? That's why we needed to put the marker so you can understand what we're doing here. So that's for the increases, okay? One, two, and then the third group of double crochets. So we can close out the two pineapples and restart the foundation of the three pineapples, okay? One, two, and three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to start. We're going to skip the first one, one, two, and three, and skip the last one, one, two, and three. Remembering what I said, once we have the six loops, which we do have, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's where we start decreasing. Skipping the last one, and doing... So we're going to repeat again the groups on here. Three groups of three double crochet, which is exactly the same thing as we have on row 15 over here. Okay. One, two, three, start decreasing again. One, two, three. Skipping the last and creating those three groups on the last shell here. OK, 
Okay, so three groups, skip the first loop and the last loop. Three groups, skip the first and the last and your three groups. Turn around and repeat again exactly what we've done here. So basically you're just copying now what we've done here. All you have to do is keep following the rows now. Shell, two chain, because this is the start of the next foundation for the pineapples. That's why you can go the length you'd like. All you have to do is continue to follow through with the same procedure. Skip and come in. Next one. Next one. And we down to the last one. And do your normal shell. Two chain and your other shell. Isn't it amazing what one hook and a piece of string can do? I sometimes just get amazed. Okay, so basically we are repeating what's on here and going through again and repeating the same process. So we're closing out two, we're creating foundations for the three again, and then you'd be going back into the two and then three again, and you can go on until you feel like. So I'm just gonna bring that up a bit. So we started with one, of course, with the closing, we'll have to close it with one. Okay, so let's just continue on. I'll meet you on the next row. Okay, so. I'm going to going to put two more markers and you can do the same so you'll know. So we have put markers on 14. Now we started to do again the new motive. And what you want to do is you want to put marker right here exactly the same thing as we did on the 14 over here we're going to do it on here why are we doing it that way because you can just repeat again the same thing as we're doing again so you don't get mistaken so it's just so the markers are marked for um, the three the three and then again this will have the three again so it's like repeating the same rows once you close out so you don't have to keep going down here all you have to do is just look up and keep going for the length you would like I'm going to close these out because it's just a repeat all you have to do is look at it, right? Right now we are here. That means we are here. So I'm going to continue and then I'll come back to you once I've closed these ones out and take it from there, okay? Okay, everyone. So basically we started with one, two, and three. We had put the markers on 14 so we can follow through all the way and have the increase of the three and then back here for the two so you must follow if you want to keep increasing you must always follow from the 14 all the way up to the next marker that we landed on which is 
Uh, let me just count for you. Twenty-eight. Row twenty-eight. So fourteen and twenty-eight has the markers. This is for you to continue if you want more length. All you have to do is keep following from the fourteen to the twenty-eight. And then continue again from the 14 to the 28 so you'll have length I'm going to close it down so basically I'm at 14 okay as if it was number 14 here on the marker did my shells okay the row before that is the three double crochet rows which is the same one that's down here on 13 okay and then row 14 starts with the shells okay so now we're going to cut down decrease to terminate the the pattern that means to close out the pattern I'm not going to go any bigger than this so I'm going to do my three chain going to come back in now remembering what I said, if you want to increase, continue row 14 to 28. You just keep going until you meet with the two. We have the two. Um, we have the two pineapples and we have the shells. That means we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to start to decrease to close it out and to have only one pineapple left. Okay. So I'm going to do shell, over shell, and I have a knot here, of course, because that was like leftover threads. Try to hide this chain two. So now I'm just going to finish the pattern up, close it out. So we're doing shell over shell. We're not doing no more increase. One, two, three. Skipping that one coming into the second one okay and not doing the last one so we're skipping the last one also so I've done my decrease skip the first one and the last one in this one here we're going to do three groups of three double crochet we need that to uh, create the last pineapple and this you have to repeat this whenever you want to finish your pattern the length desired and then continue again three chains skip the first into the last one two and three not doing the last do your shell So we're going to turn around do your shell okay one two three skip the first going to the second one two three into the second one one two three or should i say the third one two three skip the last one and do your shell To chain and do your shell again to three chain skip the first come into the second and again 
and then skip the last one do your shell so I've done my three chains again you're going to do your shell we're practically closing the the two pineapples out three chain Skip the first one going to your second, and again into the next one, and continue to do your shell. Very simple to do, but you need to be focused not to miss anything. I mean, one little boo boo can, you know, mess up the whole pattern. One, two, three, doing the first foundation to the last pineapple. Do your shell. One, two, three, so just to show you. Skip the first, going to the second. One, two, three. Next one. One, two, three. Skip the last one and do your shell. So we're doing exactly the same thing as we started with the first pineapple. One, two, three. Turn around. Do your shell, your three chain, your, sh your three chain again, your shell, three chain singles for your foundation, your three chain, we're going to close the pineapples out soon. Skipping the first one, of course. Do your shell. And your three chains for the pineapples. Okay, so now just repeat. Do your shell again, and I'll meet you there. I've done my three chains, my shell, turned around, of course, and now we're going to go directly into the next one with shell. One, two, three, continue your um ooh, and i skipped one here okay so i have to <clears throat> not a good thing which that's common to happen right Of course, we already done the explanation on this. For that reason, I'm going faster just to get ahead. Okay, so back to 
the same place as I was explaining. So doing your shell. And directly into the next one. The good thing is when you catch the mistake, the problem is when you don't, then you're going up ahead and your count is not the same. One, two, three. One, two, and three. And again, repeat the same thing, shell and then shell, exactly how we did here. So I've done my three chains, I've turned around. Now here we're going to do three double crochets only. Two chain and three double crochets again. One, two, three. Continue your shells. And your loops. And here again, we're going to do three double crochets. <coughs> okay. Two chain and three double crochets. One, two, three, turn around, coming in the center doing your shell. two chain, and three more double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. We have one more before we start decreasing. One, two, three. into the center, do your shell, okay, do your three chains, So I've turned around after doing my three chains, did my shell, one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to start to decrease. One, two, three. One, two, three. Skip the last one. And now we're going to keep decreasing until the end. So I'm going to do mine because now it's just back and forth on this one with the decreases and your shells. And then I'll meet you at the end so we can close up together. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five loops. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much came to the end. I'm going to turn around, doing my three chains. Coming in the center, we're doing three double crochets only. Okay. Two chain and three double crochets on the other side. Three chain, turn around, and we're doing our last shell in the center. Okay. 
Okay. So when you get here to the end, after doing your shell, one, two, and three, and you can close it up on this last double crochet there. So you can have your three, um, three chains on both sides the same way. Now, you can do the tassels if you want or leave it as is remembering what I told you if you want to increase then keep following row 14 to the 28 actually down here row 14 to the 28 that will bring you the three and the two the three and the two and then you can follow through um, exactly how we finished up with once you get to the two, you reach the six, which is row 14 again, okay? And which is this one here, row 14 again. And then you just close it up again, okay? So that will be the beginning of the closing once you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I think this is a beautiful pattern. It fits into any room or bedroom, I think, for like night tables and things like that. This is the perfect size for it. Or you can make a nice big one for the dining room table or your counters. So thank you so much, everybody. I will see you in the next tutorial. God bless. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Sending you much love. Oh, <laughs> oh,